Considered one of the greatest movies of all time, the 1972 big screen classic The Godfather depicted the Italian-American mobster wars in New York. Not that meeting, you'll be assassinated. Now the scenes are coming back in real life. Francesco Cali was gunned down Wednesday night by unknown assailants outside his home in a posh neighborhood in Staten Island. He exits his house, but he has a conversation with an individual in front of that residence. And that individual at some point in time, it's only about a minute into it, uh, pulls out a firearm and shots are fired. Known by his nickname of Frankie Boy, he was widely believed to be the head of the Gambino crime family. Unlike high-profile mob bosses of years past, Cali was different. He kept a very low profile. One of the first times he ever appeared on the front pages of the local papers was with the news of his death. Gambino boss whacked, read the headline of the New York Post. Retired New York Police Sergeant Joseph Jacalone says high-profile mob hits have been rare the past 20 years, so investigators might have a hard time trying to solve the crime. This has a lot of implications because is this within the Italian Mafia or is it from outside the Italian Mafia? Is it another group trying to make the name for themselves? There's a lot of working parts here and law enforcement needs to play catch up. The last time a mob boss was murdered in New York City was 35 years ago. That's when John Gotti ordered the murder of then Gambino boss Paul Castellano outside a Manhattan steakhouse. Gotti was convicted of extortion and Castellano's murder in 1992. Ten years later, he died in prison. Mob violence has subsided since then, and that might have led many New Yorkers to feel a false sense of security. Last October, a lower-level mob boss was shot while sitting in his car outside a fast food restaurant. And now the killing of Cali, clear signs the mob is alive and well. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera, New York.